Doug, for many of the governor's crime proposals, this is round two. After call for the death penalty, expanded three strikes rule, and baby Brianna's law all failed in last year's 2016 special legislative session. But still, Governor Martinez is confident that this is the route to a safer New Mexico for kids. Like Jaden, Lily, Victoria, Ashlyn. The name of four young New Mexicans gone too soon. We all remember their beautiful, innocent faces. And as we take up the business of the state, let's not forget them. Governor Susana Martinez pushes for many of the same crime bills that couldn't pass the state Senate last year. And if you kill a child, a law enforcement officer, or a corrections officer, you deserve the death penalty. And expanding past crime bills aimed at protecting children. If you intentionally abuse a child and that child dies, regardless of that child's age, you should never, ever get out of prison. And along with protecting those kids, educating them. At least 96% of those third graders who cannot read are being passed on to the next grade. That's unacceptable. But Democrats disagree with the governor and say her policies are hurting educators and students in New Mexico. We have 25% fewer students going into the teaching profession in our colleges. Despite a legislature taking office that opposes her, Governor Martinez says she has high hopes for the future of children in the land of enchantment. New Mexico should be the place where we can raise a family and feel safe. The legislative Democrats also attacked the governor's economic plan, but both sides said they're willing to come together to find a solution. We'll see if it actually happens over the course of the next two months. Reporting live here at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.